Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we are engraving some teeny tiny text on the inside of this little gold ring. So if you want to learn how to engrave on the inside of a ring like this, uh, you are in the right spot, so hang tight. Oh, and did I mention we're not using the rotary tool at all today? This is going to be completely manual, uh, so stick around because you're going to learn a thing or two in this video, I promise. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it right now. Okay guys, so in this box we have what we're engraving for today. Get this opened up. And here we go, right inside this little bag. This is exactly what we're after. And it's a, uh, it's a small gold ring. Now they've got some stuff written on the outside of this already in Sharpie, but we're not actually marking the outside, we're marking the inside of this bad boy. So. Uh, we'll take a look at the order form, get some artwork together, and then uh, we'll go talk about how we're going to deal with this without the rotary tool. It's not that hard, um, and I'm going to walk you through it. So just try to hang with me here, and uh, we'll get through it together. Okay, guys, so if we take a look at our order form here, um, these represent the insides of the ring. So we've got SLC on one side, and we've got 22 on the other, and they actually want that inside here. So we're going to do SLC right along this, and then uh, 22 along the other side there and uh, this is going to be a little tricky the inside is hollow and textured so we're going to have to um, you know make sure that we're focused really well so that we can get this uh, exactly the way we want it but it shouldn't be a problem so first thing we're going to do is grab our pan of ice and then uh, we'll go from there okay guys we've got our pan of ice here and if you don't have one of these you should get one they make a uh, small one and they make a larger one and they're both really good but this one's perfect for rings so we're just going to set this down kind of at a little bit of an angle and we're going to grab our clean dry microfiber cloth and just tuck it right between the teeth right there just like that uh, and that's perfect and then the next thing we need to do is grab our ring and we want to kind of angle this so that we can get at that gold surface and we're almost going to have to go kind of like upside down and sideways and uh, it's it's pretty tight right there but that's exactly what we're looking for so so if we look at this top down right uh, the beam is going to be able to pass right straight past the outside of the band and land right in the middle uh, so that's kind of what we want we want it to come down past the outside of the band and land in the middle so it shouldn't be straight on this we actually want it to have a little bit of a tilt back uh, and we'll go ahead and get this focused next so that you can see how that looks so we've got our uh, our lens up here guys and we're just going to bring this so that it's right underneath our focal stick and then we're just going to go ahead and focus to the inside of the ring where we want that engraving to be now here the focal stick is just kind of touching the outside of the ring there um, so we actually want to remove this and then i'm just going to give it the slightest little bit of turn extra uh, just a little bit lower because we do want it to go past the outer edge and into the groove because the outside of that ring is hollow there uh, next we'll get the laser turned on and then um, we'll be able to line up with like a box so uh, we'll jump over to easycad uh, next and we'll take a look at that so we're just popping into EasyCAD really quick, just for a second before we get too far into this, uh, just to drop an outline box in. This is just a rough guess. Obviously the shape of the ring on the inside is going to be very organic shape, uh, very round, but the square should give us a good idea of where we're going. So uh, we're just gonna drop our little square in. It's, it's small guys, it's seven millimeters by three millimeters. It's a small, small square. So we're gonna try to get the best look at it that we possibly can and align things as well as we possibly we can that way when we drop our text in we can feel confident about where it's going to be engraved so let's go take a look at this first so here's our red box that we just made guys and we're just going to do our best to kind of center this up i know you can't see it super well but um we really just don't want anything hanging over the edges we want to be sure that our text is going to fall right in the middle of the inside of the ring i'm trying to look past the camera here so i can see what i'm doing and we're just going to take our time and make very small movements and try to keep things as center as possible. And once we have that box somewhere that we feel uh, good about its location, we can go ahead and drop our first bit of artwork in. So we're content with the location of our box, so we can actually go ahead and import our first little bit of artwork. 
And here it is guys, so we have our SLC that's going on one side and the 22 that's going on the other. Uh, and we're going to ungroup that and we'll just get rid of our 22 for now. We don't need it. Uh, we're going to start with our lettering here. We're just going to focus on that. We're going to group and hatch. Uh, standard laser everything hatch here, okay, 45 degrees, negative 45 degrees. It's been a while since we haven't done anything weird, so it feels good to come back to this. Um, we're just doing our standard hatch pattern. Uh, so we've got both our hatches set there, and we're going to hit OK. Shift and C to center. Um, we're just going to resize this so that it fits nicely into our outline box. We want to give our outline box a wide berth today because we've got some unpredictable angles. It's, it's kind of messy inside that ring, and we don't want to risk spilling over the edge. It, that would be just the absolute worst case scenario. So we're giving a wide berth to this outline box here. Uh, we can't forget to reapply. We want to reapply those hatches so that they stay accurate after the resize. And we can delete our outline box because we know it's somewhere we like it. Um, we'll uncheck use default param and open up the parameter library to find our gold setting. So let's just give a quick scroll through here and find that. And here it is, our gold general. That's going to be a great start today. Um, we're really going to kind of hit this thing. We want to obscure as much of that stippling on the inside of the ring, that texturing in there as possible so that the text is nice and easy to read. So Gold General is going to be a great start for that. And uh, with that done, we can light it up and uh, head over to uh, the fiber laser and cross our fingers. So here we go, guys. This is kind of a final look. We'll just go ahead and zoom in here so that you can take a closer look at it. And it looks like it can stand to be scooched up just a little bit. So we're just going to give it a couple taps with the up arrow on the keyboard. And it looks like it's right where it needs to be. I know that it looks very close to the bottom edge to you right now, but it's because you're looking at it from kind of like this, this diagonal angle. I'm looking at it straight down so I can see over this ridge uh, and I can see where the bottom of those letters is ending a little bit better than uh, you can from your perspective. So I'm feeling like this is pretty good. We're gonna take a closer look at it in just a second, but first we gotta run this thing. So here we go, hold your breath. Three, two, and one. And there it is. So uh, again, you're having kind of a hard time seeing that. Let me see if I can hide our red laser there. And uh, we're a little bit maxed out on our focus here uh, and zoom. You can try to zoom a little bit more uh, if you can see that at all. It all looks pretty bright when I marked it, but uh, my gut's telling me that we should go ahead and add another pass to this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and add one more pass and uh, see if we can get this to cooperate and show up a little bit nicer. So there's two more passes, guys. We can go ahead and turn the lights on. And yeah, now I, I'm really able to kind of see that C in there. Uh, that's looking much better. I think what we need is just a white finish on this so that we can really let that stand out and, and pop against the side of the ring. So uh, let's head over to EasyCAD and grab our uh, gold white and then we will come back and finish this off. So we need our gold white finish for a little bit more contrast. So this is a little bit easier to read. So we're going to pop in here and uh, just find the gold white. There it is, gold white finish. We'll hit OK. Uh, and with this, we're just going to uh, run it once, maybe twice should really help that stand out uh, from the inside of the ring. So let's go run that now. Okay guys, we're ready to add our white finish and hopefully this will make our engraving a little bit more clear. And that is substantially better. Uh, I think we could stand for one more pass on that. And look at that, there we go. Let's go ahead and get the lights on one more time. And uh, I'm seeing this pretty clearly now. That looks pretty good. You can still see some of the old pattern in there. I could probably continue to hit this uh, to remove even more of that. But I think as far as what the customer wanted, this is pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it here. You can keep running it if you'd like to go deeper. Uh, but I'm gonna call it here. Here we go, guys. There's our uh, SLC and it's uh, it's in a weird spot. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is, uh, this is what the jeweler who sent this to me requested. It's not the best location for an engraving, but it still came out. Uh, and I, th I think it looks good for what we were asked to do. I, I think we succeeded. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, would I have liked to do the outside of the ring instead? Sure. Uh, but this is where they wanted it. So we are going to do the best that we can for the customer uh, because this is what they requested. If this was a regular customer, I may have put up a little bit more of a fight, you know, and, and tried to talk them into doing a different part of the ring. But this is a jeweler. They know what they want. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give that to them. So 
there's the engraving uh, and we can go ahead and wrap this up for today. So anyway, I'm gonna go get this sent out to them. If you learned anything in this video, hit the like button, let everybody else know that the content is good and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get updated the next time I post a video. If you love the channel and it's the best thing that ever happened to you, consider signing up for the Patreon. There is a link down in the description where you can sign up and get instant access to the entire fiber laser and CO2 laser libraries that we have, uh, as well as a ton of other great perks and they help support the channel and make it really easy easy for us to make new episodes on a regular basis so you can keep learning all of this stuff about lasers. While you're down there, also check out the link to our Discord. It's our amazing laser community filled with people that are super friendly, crazy helpful, uh, and they just love meeting new people. And we just wanna see what you're working on and hear about what kind of stuff you're doing with your laser. So if that sounds like a fun time to you, definitely check out the link to the Discord. It's right next to the link to the Patreon. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I've got. I'm getting out of here. I gotta get this thing in the mail and get home to my family. So uh, I'm gonna leave you at that, but I will see you in the next one.